Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker Episode 8. Um, we went back to town, sold stuff, bought a few, some armor, upgraded a few things, nothing major. Well, actually, sort of. Uh, put full plate on the, the Baroness. She's now armor class 23. Put uh, half plate and bought a ring of protection for... Um, Amiri, so she's 19 now. Uh, got him a heavy shield. And got him a heavy shield plus one. So, so really, the everyone except the mage has at least an 18 armor class now. So, hopefully that means I'll stop taking so much miscellaneous little damage. But we'll see. There's nothing can stop them from rolling 20s. So let's go ahead and keep exploring this map. See if we can find more goodies before we... Uh, why did you guys just fall dead for no reason? Our celestial radish? the radish what are you doing here why don't you take part in the war what are you doing here chew the radish search for secret connection small in big uh, I think I really don't want to mess with the radishes Apparently, cobalts are getting high on ra celestial radishes, so. I have no idea what the celestial radish does, but it's not for me. There was a whole bit. Apparently there was a treasure over there, and there's a treasure over here. Oh, it's just a, whoa, what the heck is, that looks like a shambling mound. Let's go ahead and do a quick save here. Yeah, shambling mound. Do we want to attack a shambling mound? Uh, sure. So Ready. why don't you go ahead and uh, try your new spell on it. Uh, you needed to get a lot closer before you hit it with the spell. Don't be afraid. So can you charge? Yep. Yeah. And you charge. Rip them all! And you run up and hit normally. And you run up and hit normally. And you inspire us. And you. Do you have a fire one? I think you have a fire. Nope. Frost. Electricity. I don't see an actual fire. Well, let's stick with acid. Oh, that was a good hit. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. What do we get off of it? An engraved silver pendant. Why does it look like a piece of paper? The name is engraved on it. Bertha. Huh, sounds like a quest item. Although maybe that was the dead person.
Oh, we got something over here. Oh, look, we found nuts. So is this Bertha? The fingers still clenched to a torn leather leash. Okay. So she was walking her dog when the shambling mound ate her? Oh yeah, that's right. We wanted to go back to the moon radishes. And get the treasure over there. It's just one of those. Okay. Well, that's worth money later. So it still says there's loot over here. Huh. I don't think there actually is. I think it's just the lady's body. Appears that this is a dead end. So let's run up here. Is it? In combat, does it actually give us rolls? Well, you see that? No. Nope. Just gives us oh, another one of those. Oh, look, more of the cleverly disguised elk. Apparently, you can't get there from here. So can we get up here? Nope, it looks like we have to go all the way down here. Oh. I wish you'd give us rolls. Um, let's double check options. Maybe there is something in options that I missed. So force move, show alignment shifts and dialogues, reset all commands on auto pause, show avoid uncompact text, okay, show spell name in compact text, AOE snap to like and pause when trap detected. So I doubt it'd be anything under graphics. V-Sync, shadow, real time, texture, Character atlas resolution, decals, depth of field, bloom, grass. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here. Nothing there. And so apparently there's a key to switch difficulty. Inventory, journal, map, rest camp, spells, pause, quick load, quick save, screenshot, stop, hold position. Nope, don't see anything in there. Yoo-hoo, I click the X. There we go. Apparently she gets some sort of free physical enhancements and she always throws dexterity on herself, which is fine. As we run by the people fighting again, We'll let him fight. Later on we can go get the dead bodies. Apparently those guys aren't fighting. They're just staring at each other. But that's right. These guys are fighting. There's the water down here. Oh, 
This looks inviting. Is this okay? No, it's just another way around. Come Look, closer frog. if you dare. I think frogs are pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and run up and hit them. They're not people, do they? I know in one D&D they used to swallow people whole. You really need to stop throwing those spells. You should probably just turn that off. Get a load of this! Oh, that's interesting. A chest in the water. Incense. End of type gold. Green quartz. But we did get mage armor and shield of faith. Whoa! You see that? And frigid touch. Some gold and corrosive touch. Oh look, more people not fighting. I don't know if they're supposed to and that's just broken or what the issue is. And more giant frogs. Yeah, we do seem to be getting hit less, which is good. And a texture. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But whatever it is, it's missing its texture. Are we supposed to be able to click on it to get up there? Maybe, but I don't see it. Okay. We have to run back this way, so let's go ahead and go here. Which will probably be a dead body, even though they weren't fighting. So I'm not sure how come there would be a dead body there. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, a potato! Yay, potatoes! Should be dead cobalts up here we can loot. Oh, we ran into something. What did we run into? Some sort of serpenty thing with a name I can't. Tetzalwin? Uh, these may be dangerous. Let's go ahead and have you pop off your song. Have you throw a magic missile at one of them. Let's have you charge that one forget it and let's have you Don't work charge get it you can't charge you're too far away so you'll just run up and hit it and you guys run up and hit too though really you're better with your crossbow I bought you you should be using the crossbow in fact I think we'll be able to do that right. well, whatever they are they don't appear to be too tough Small oxygen. I carry gems. Okay, let's go ahead and move you, switch you guys' positions, and have you switch to the nice heavy crossbow I bought you. Okay. Actually, this is the direction we want to go. 
We'll have to get that stuff later. They'll slowly kill each other and we'll just wander around and loot the battlefield. This must be the cobalt lair over here. Because this was the mite lair up here. I think that gives us most of the map. So we'll probably go ahead and go down into the underground section. Anything up here of interest? I thought there was, because I thought I saw something. Oh, there's a secret way between them. Okay, well that's, I guess, sort of helpful. Oh, trap. I'm here. Get a load of this. Okay, everybody stop. Looks like there's another campsite we can use. Are these guys dead or just very sound sleepers? Yeah! Apparently just very sound sleepers. Uh, you need to run away. Run away. And you need to, can you charge any? You can charge. You charge there. And it said charge. You can't charge. Why can't you? Fine. Run up and hit them normally. How about you? You have less armor. You should be able to charge. You can't charge either. Really? Fine. You run up there. You shoot that guy. You start your song. You go throw a cure spell on her. On your Get us all back together here. And let's first of all have you pop off one of your areas. And let's have you throw one of your cures. Okay. Loot the bodies. Loot the bodies. Loot the bodies. Magic leather armor plus one. Hmm. Golden trinket, agate, ink. Ooh, cure light potion. Let's collect all of you. And more of you, and I think that's everything. Yep. And this must be Cobalt's Lair. Now, this dungeon, the textures are missing. It seems to work okay, it's just the textures are missing, so. But, as we said, it's alpha, and it's really playable and, and uh, stable for an alpha. Once in a gray while, it does something weird. And apparently... This is just your guard post, okay? 
seems to be more than a few centuries old, but still resolves the pressures of time. Okay. So let's go here. Associate Chief, wait, many traps. Pursue me. Do you know where your shaman is? Don't know. Chief ask. Chief knows everything. Okay. What is ahead? Mine. Human make this, then abandon. Cobalt come, live, work. Was might passage no more. Might thief. Okay, let's go. Whoa! You see that? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> let's have you go remove it. You, know, you didn't do a very good job of removing. Which one of you is the better thief? <clears throat> I know you actually have a level in Rogue. So your trickery is 11. And yours is 10. So you're the better thief. Try not to set off the traps anymore. There's one. Ready. Really? Fine. Let's do do a little at a time. Really, you you seem to really suck at this disarming traps. <laughs> I'm here. Hey, can someone help me? Are you going to ever successfully disarm a single trap in this area? Get a load of this! Ready. You failed again. Yay, you removed a trap. And we just ran right through the trap. Why not? I thought it was supposed to clear all actions when you... Whoa! You see that? Hmm? Is it G that stopped? I'm here! At least we got some free experience there. Break, break now. Uh, this looks like something important to click on. Uh, da -da. Apparently there's a broken trap door here. Well, let's see if we can actually jam the doors. I should only need like a three or more. Really? Really? <sighs> uh, 
Apparently my rolls are really, really bad. <laughs> Let's see how bad we're injured. Of course, now we're lost in the depths of a dungeon. Okay. Uh, looks like we didn't get injured. Oh, looks like one body to loot. you go ahead and cure yourself. Okay. Let's go ahead and be stealthy. That also gives us more chances, I think, because we're moving slower. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's save spells, because uh, we don't know what we're going to be doing around here. Come on, somebody kill it. Thank you. Okay. So, oh, can you charge? Yes, you can charge that one. And you, can you charge? Oh, gotta hit charge first. Have you charged that one? Have you help on that one? Have you shoot at that one? Have you sing your song, which we're almost out of? And just use your usual favorite thing. Yeah, when I'm adjacent to them, so that they're flanked, my magic user sneak attack does a lot of damage. Really do hope they add like an end of round pause, so it's a little bit more like the paper game. Uh, what's up here? Looks like an informational point. The size of the construction makes it obvious that this was not built by cobalts. Okay. That and the fact that the cobalt told us it wasn't built by them. Oh, this looks like a big room. Big room should you have things in them. Oh, it's got a doorway to somewhere. Let's go ahead and explore some more. Oh, something over here. That looks good. Oh, we should probably heal you. Uh, do you have any low level ones left? No. Okay, so we'll have you go ahead and heal her. Okay. Yeah, between the bard and the two clerics, we have a lot of healing in this party. Uh-oh. Let me guess. Skeleton. 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 Pause. Okay, let's go ahead and pop one of you off, and pop one of you off, and have you hit that one? Have you hit that one? 
have you sing your song and have you just uh, choose that one well that wasn't so hard was it Now if only the random roller will let me roll something higher than threes, or whatever it's rolling that's making me fail almost every single bloody check. And what's this one say? Yoo-hoo, what'd you say? Intricate flowers. Oh, looks like there's something over here. Act of rock, but with a hint of delicacy. The inscription says to to our goddess Shalene. So that must be a temple to Shalene. And we find one of the a dog tags. Well, it looks like there's a chest over here. They're sort of easy to see when the uh, oh, it must be a hidden chest. Yep, now I can see it. More squirrel spells, yay! Rings probably belong to miners who died in the job. Well, that's where the undead must have come from. So apparently this is what the raw looks like before you texture it. Oh, these things. They don't do any damage, but they do lots of poison. Okay, let's go this way. Look, more. Our archer killed it before we even got near it. Or if there's any sort of minus for shooting in the combat. Apparently, centipedes don't carry anything on them, which doesn't surprise me. Ooh, this looks like some sort of door. Ooh, a guy. Oh, Mr. Hermit. Might watches you with anger and hisses. Okay. Well, apparently you have absolutely nothing to steal, so we will simply leave. And we're at the wrapping up point, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and end the episode here and continue on next episode in our exploration of this massive dungeon. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine, but please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958 and have fun gaming.